an important event taking shape for local military veterans. And if you've ever said the words, thank you for your service to a vet, this is the way to truly show your gratitude. Paula Tutman is live at the John Dingle VA Medical Center in Detroit. And Paula, you've had some really fascinating conversations with veterans today. Yeah, I really did because I, I, I had the privilege, uh, privilege rather of spending part of the morning here at the VA Medical Center. And honestly, almost every single vet I encountered wanted to share a story of their service. And you were uh, Army, yeah, Navy? Yeah. Army. <laughs> Good stuff. What unit? Tracy Petaway jumped out of planes. The price of her service to this country is a collapsed disc and a life altered. At the VA Center, she's visible. Thanks for bringing your daughter. Sure, no problem. Not everyone is, like Dean Ditto, whose pain is not easily spotted, but courses through him as a thin red line that runs deep into the fiber of who he has become as a result of war. People died. Good people died. Good people um, got blown up. Good people were hurt. Part of, um, part of what we carry with us is is their honor in the memory of them. As a Marine in Desert Storm, he found out quickly that war was not a John Wayne movie. The lights don't fade to a new scene. And people asking about, asking questions, did you kill anybody? You know, unsavory, you know, um, I'm glad you guys made it through safe. Well, I made it through safe but I knew people who didn't make it through safely, people who didn't come home. During the Stories of Service fundraiser for the Fisher House, Michigan. I think that I just wanna make sure that they're remembered, that they're not just a mossy tombstone somewhere in a national cemetery. Thanks will come from the people who sit in the audience and listen to the cost of service. We will feature five different veterans from World War II all the way through Iraq. And it's a way for the community to engage with these veterans, learn about the emotion of service, the good, the bad, the ugly. It's important for our community to understand what our veterans did and how they're dealing with it as they return home. Some of the stories may be hard to listen to, difficult to imagine. What you see is, is horribly dismembered bodies. You know, um, you see pieces of what used to be people. But they are the truth behind the grand experiment behind democracy and it's true price. Don't ever dismiss the thanks. Don't ever dismiss the welcome home because every single one of us that raised our right hand wrote a blank check payable to the American people for up to including our lives. As long as our country stands, there will always be young men and women who are willing to step into that gap and go take the battle to the people that would do us harm. You know, raising funds for Fisher House, uh, Fisher House, Michigan, is really critical, not only for veterans and their families, but really to all of us. And, and the, the event is Wednesday, so this gives you an opportunity to plan, and that's a great way to say thank you in a way that is so visible and so helpful to these veterans. We're going to put all of the information on all of our social media platforms so you can dial in. Karen? All right, we appreciate it. Thank you, Paula.